Hey folks, how you doing? Hopefully, you'll be seeing this on The Breakfast Club, because I want to do this uh, for that. Um, uh, before I get into the details, I would like to say uh, to Got That Funk, um, I know you said in one of your videos that we didn't have to be asked to provide videos for The Breakfast Club, like, you know, we're parachuting in, not a regular member or anything like that, but we didn't have to be asked, and I appreciate that. I truly do, and not to be a dick about it, I have trouble coming up with my own content, you know, but when I have something I can give to you, I will, because I do like you, I do like what we do around here with this with this stuff, and, you know, but, uh, so I finally got one I would like to give to the Breakfast Club, rather than use on my own channel, and I was, I was watching, uh, video arguments with Brock, and, uh, got that punk, I'll wait in on that, about politics for adults, and I am not going to take this point by point, um, even remotely, as I seemingly take this point by point now, um, because I'm not sure that there are any adults actually participating in politics anymore. Not in America, and the rest of the world really leaves me wondering, too. I mean, you, you look at what happened here. In 2010, we, we had that Tea Party, right? And, and the whole country flopped, or not the whole country, but enough of the country flopped in 2010 to provide a conservative right, um, you know, push, made Barack Obama's presidency significantly more difficult than it should have been, largely because he was black, period. Yes, there were political issues and whatnot, and, and, but the same people who did that in 2010 are the same people who are so disaffected, so dissatisfied with the political environment that they put Trump into office. Now, for some reason, people still like Trump. And this isn't really going to be a large bit about Trump, because Trump's a dumpster fire. I hated Trump when he was a Democrat. I hated Trump when he was just writing books. I hate Donald Trump. Don't need to get into that. But yeah, the same people elected him, when there is plenty, ample evidence before he was elected of how much of a criminal he was. Ample evidence, but yet he's elected. And the investigations, and people keep, well that's the funny thing, is people look at all of the revelations about this thing, and the people are like, oh my, we knew all of it before the election. But see, that's the point, right? I mean, you get people who love Trump going off about the build the wall, build the wall, and people are like, yay, wall and shit, and they don't realize the wall was defeated before it was ever proposed. For like the last decade, the drug cartels have been moving drugs by the ton through tunnels underneath the border, through submarines and boats around the oceans, using planes. The wall was defeated before it was ever proposed. Uh, and so people go, build the wall, build the These people aren't paying attention. But now we kind of get to my point. Is there's no adults involved. And this is by design. They used to teach civics in school. They don't teach civics anymore. Now we have a senator in office who does not understand the various branches of government. She doesn't get that the Senate and the Congress are one branch, the presidency is one branch, and the judicial is another branch. And she's not alone. She's just the one we know about. We got people in office now who have been raised, they came of age through the same educational stuff I did in the late 70s through the 80s. They should know and they don't. That's why we know we have this whole this gridlock, not getting anything done, not getting anything done good. As by design, right? If anybody who is still caught up in the Republican, conservative, Democrat, liberal mindset hasn't come to the realization that we're being played. Personal opinion, this is arguable, have your own, but we're being played. You know? Uh, the powers that be, you look, you look at who, who has all the money, the 1%, the corporations. The corporations are getting not only tax breaks, but corporate welfare to the extent that many corporations pay a negative tax rate when you really get around to it. So do a lot of really rich people. 
And these are the same people who financed Reagan in the 80s, and that's when the turn happened, was in the 80s. These people want to be in charge. And they have figured out how to use our two-party system, a Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, to play us off against each other. And as long as people come up, they're not seeing the fact that there is a war being waged against us, and that war is on the 1%, the rich and the wealthy, and it's against the rest of us. That's why the middle class has been hollowed out the way that it has. That's why our education has been failing the way that it has. That's why they want people to move over into charter schools, where there aren't laws to guarantee what you can and can't teach. They're private, right? And they just keep going along. Keep, Citizens United makes money apart free speech and politics, which basically means that all our senators and congressmen are up for grabs. Forget about the fact that I can show evidence that in the last 10 years, at least two uh, Supreme Court justices were likely on the take. One of them's dead now, so we don't have to worry about him. But you look at all the way things, have, since 1980, things have been slowly structured over and over and over to cut taxes on the rich, to place the burden on, on the lower class, to make everybody think that the lower class are the problem. And now they've engineered it to where free speech is under attack because, of the, God forbid, you should offend somebody. And they're using the left for that. They're trying to disarm the population on the left, attacking the Second Amendment rights. They're trying to do all the shit on the left, but then they're using the right to try to dismantle Social Security and Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps, move people from public schools that are paid for tax dollars over into private schools, and you're right now they'll be tax supported in the beginning, but those will be cut down. They're trying to move everybody off of being supported by taxes, so they continue to give tax breaks to the wealthy and not have to pay for those poors, and then they can keep us locked with our stagnant wages in rel uh, relation to. Um, you know, and not incest, and interest rates, inflation, you know, they keep us locked in so we are wage slaves. This has all been happening since 1980, and it's still happening and it's really well in place. We have seriously lost. I and mean, it is at the point now where if you're caught up in the binary system, man, you ain't been paying attention. Politics for adults, there are no adults involved. We haven't been educated enough to make adult decisions in regarding politics these days. Most people just simply don't know. And the thing is, the people who think they know, don't really know. Not as long as you're hooked up on the Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal. Because then you hear people saying, all liberals believe X. And invariably, you're going to find all most liberals going, no, I don't really believe that. Some will go yes, some will go yeah. And it's the same thing on the right. All those conservatives, they all believe X. And they're like, they'll find them also say no. But that's what they want. They want you to be trapped in your filter bubble. They want you to be othering everybody who isn't you. Our side, rah, rah, them all wrong. And cheering for you. Because all you do is you're caught. And they can continue to play you right versus left. Probably play you back and forth. And since there's no adults involved, nobody's noticed, and they're taking over. There will come a time, if people don't wake up, where you will not have your freedom of speech. This will be a Christian country. You will not have your freedom of religion. The fake news will be taken care of. You won't have your free press. The Democrats will have disarmed everybody. The Second Amendment is gone. They're already trying to make rules. They're going to try to uh, search and seizure. Fucking fuck that shit. That's going on. The fucking self-incrimination. You watch. They're going to take it all. As long as you're trapped. Trying to all adults and polar tricks. And blah, blah, blah. There are no adults. Y'all getting fucked. Figure it out. And then we can fix the problem. I I'm just going to leave this off with one little... Uh, syllogism that you might well might want to think about because this is all dependent on freedom of speech or all our ability to talk to one another to to give our ideas to one another and to discuss things and figure out that we're all being fucked from behind and as long as our first amendment protects that but it's the second amendment that protects the first so uh, that personal thing i guess i don't know
Anyways, that's what I got. There, uh, politics for adults, there's, there's no adults involved. And there needs to be. Anyways, that's what I got. If you're watching this on the Breakfast Club channel, fucking groovy. If you're not, it'll be up on mine and you know while well, shit happens. Um, anybody stuck around, thank you for your time.